You're looking like a bad referee, man. But I feel you, dog. Anyway, look at your boy Kovalev. Looking real, real, real ready. And real good in the beginning. In the beginning. Look at him. Left, right, left, right. He's rocking back and forth and forward and backwards. And left and right. But they here. Uh, what we have here is that meat getting cooked up, you feel me? Well done, if I don't say so myself. Meaning that after this fight here, this shit should be over with. A rap. But anyway, we still got Kathy Doodle Breath do his ass, Kovalev's trainers, Kovalev's fans, and all the Kovalevians, and even Kovalev's ass, riding too damn deep, too damn hard, and too damn steep on this excuse type shit. Hell, you was out there in the first fight bullshitting half of the damn rounds, and that's how you lost that O that you had on your fight record, boy, but you cried yourself into a second chance to redeem that crown. But you fell back down. And you fell back down because... You had and still got way too many chinks and kinks in that under armor, boy. And that under armor is beneath your over armor, which is your flesh, which can cause you to not protect your house correctly, Mr. Kovalev. Let me cook it up for you a little bit. First off, I find it quite easy for anybody to see that you are mentally unstable. Mr. Kovalev, and secondly, you are a perpologist, a perpetrator, acting like you lost the fight last time for this reason, and that reason, then down the line a whole nother damn reason, add them all together and get it out the way now, while at the same damn time trying to convince the world that you don't have a problem with black folks. Who's a lying motherfucker? You're racist. Look at your track record. You call Adonis Stevenson a damn monkey. You call Andre Ward all types of shit. Look at your trainer, man. You got John David Jackson looking like a damn fool. Eyes all wide eyed and shit. Googly eyed and all fucked up. He can't even speak during a damn fight. Hey, John David Jackson, man. Get out that sunken place, dog. Get up out of there, man. And Mr. Kovalev, you deal with too much hate inside your body, man. And too much hate can breed a certain form of fear. A certain form of fear. F E A R. False evidence appearing real. False evidence appearing real. And this type of fear can be boosted and activated via being under the right conditions for trial and judgment. And just so happened in this case, Andre Ward was the recipe for that ass. Andre Ward went from being bullied on to being a damn bully. Most of y'all seen the fight, and if you missed the bullying part, you watch it again. 
Now they seeing Mr. Mr. Andre Ward is the nutcracker. I seen a few low blows, you know, I can admit that, you know, but nothing was, was too damn low, unless Mr. Coleman had a set of nuts up by that borderline area, you feel me? Yeah, I seen a few blows that might have been slightly beneath that, but nothing too damn steep for y'all to go too damn deep. But what I did see is Kovalev's ass get hurt from a legitimate body blow and a legitimate head blow. Surgery to crush your cold. You came up short tonight, dog. You got caught slipping. The nut boy get in your head before the fight. And you didn't protect your house. You went eight rounds. Then you sat down on the ropes. Yeah, you quit, dog. You sat on the ropes. Again, you came in ready, looking good. But you didn't protect your house. Look up at y'all. Clear the tail. Check on that dog. Let's get ready to rumble. Andre Ball. And Sergei Overland. Get stopped by a body globally. The boxism cafe. The boxism cafe. Boxism. Boxism. You know, yeah. Shout out to the LDBC, Dante's Boxing Nation, and all the boxing fans out there.